Hi, a very good morning. We are going to learn about a new chapter here, which is Rise of Christianity. This chapter is broadly divided into two subtopics. One is birth of Christianity and the second one is Jesus Christ. Before going to the main subheading, let's understand how historians have divided the time. They have divided the study of past into periods. That period that lies between ancient and modern period is known as medieval period. The word medieval comes from Latin word which means middle age. It must be remembered that medieval period did not begin at the same time in all parts of the world. Neither did it change from ancient to medieval period happen overnight. It was a gradual process. The medieval period in India stretched from 8th to 18th century. The medieval period in Europe, on the other hand, stretched from 6th century to 16th century. Historians describe this period as a dynamic one in which social, political, economic, cultural and religious structures were redefined and reorganized. Birth of Christianity Roman Empire was considered to be one of the greatest in its time. So in middle of the first century BC, Romans conquered Palestine. It was the homeland of Jews. Herod became its ruler. He tortured and killed many Jews. This made the Romans very unpopular. The Roman practice of worshipping emperors as gods infuriated the Jews further. So, Jews started looking forward to coming of a messiah who would liberate them from foreign rule and establish the kingdom of God. It was against this background that Jesus Christ preached his message of love, brotherhood and compassion. Jesus Christ Jesus was born in Bethlehem, a small town near Judea in about 4 BCE. At that time, Judea was a part of Roman Empire. Jesus was the son of Joseph and Mary. It is said that an angel appeared to Mary and told her that she would give birth to a blessed child. This child was Jesus. Our knowledge about the life and teachings of Jesus comes from four short books called the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. They tell us that Jesus grew up in Nazareth. He followed his father's profession and became a carpenter. But soon he abandoned it and began preaching the message of love. Jesus preached his message in the form of parables and sermons. From his many followers, Jesus chose 12 apostles to help him spread the message of love and brotherhood. Teachings of the Jesus Christ He was a great healer. Legends say that he restored the sight of the blind and healed the sick. His simple lifestyle and love and compassion he had for people earned him a lot of followers. Jesus rejected meaningless rituals. He asked his followers to give up their old sinful ways, devote their lives to God and help other people. He condemned hypocrisy and greed. The Sermon on the Mount is the most famous sermon delivered by Jesus. They are love your enemies. Do not judge others. Have faith in God. Give to the needy. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. So a small group of disciples believed Jesus to be the promised Messiah who would bring an end to the Roman Empire. Meanwhile, the growing influence of Jesus alarmed many Jewish priests. They felt threatened by Jesus. They complained to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor. He arrested Jesus on the false charge of calling himself the king of the Jews 
and encouraging people to rebel against the Roman Empire. As a result, Jesus was sentenced to death. Crucifixion In 30 CE, Jesus was crucified in Golgotha as a political rebel. The cross henceforth became a sacred symbol for the Christians. The crucifixion was viewed by followers of Jesus Christ as the end of their hopes. Subsequently, many believed that Jesus rose from the dead and ascended into heaven. With their courage restored, the followers began preaching in the name of Jesus Christ. His disciples, notably St. Peter, St. John and St. Paul, won many converts. Christianity gained acceptance in Rome where the bishop of St. Peter's Church came to the, be regarded as Jesus Christ representative on earth and is called the Pope or Father.